watching the second video of You Rep Abroad, and today's topic is what to do or have before leaving the country. Okay, one of the most important things that you can do is make two copies of everything, and I'm talking about passports, any type of IDs, such as a state ID or international student ID, you want to make a copy of your flight information, um, the hotels or any travel information you may have, and you want to leave this with your family, one copy for them, and you want to have another copy for yourself. Second thing is to get an adapter. Now, this particular adapter was very cheap and is very handy. I bought it from Circuit City, uh, which I think is closed actually, so maybe you can get one from Best Buy. But you plug in your little plug in the front, and it can fit all types of shapes. And then you have this part where you have different type of adapters, which is fantastic. So this one is called a Kingston. So if you guys want to look this one up, this is an excellent cheap adapter. I've had it for years and it's never failed me. Okay, so another very important thing to do before you leave the country is to know the temperature of the country you're visiting. And this really helps in packing. Um, obviously, if it's too cold, you're going to bring warmer clothes. If it's too hot, you're not going to have quite as many warm clothes. So look up the temperature. Uh, which next brings me to the clothing itself. It is really helpful to know if you can fit the clothes in the country that you're visiting. Um, when I went to Japan, I couldn't fit anything. I'm just going to tell you this now. Okay, um, I wear a size 10 shoes, but I'm tall, so that's okay. Um, and they didn't go higher than an 8, I discovered. I'm too big, too curvy, couldn't fit anything. So it's really good to know if you can wear their clothes. Okay, another really important thing to do before you go abroad. Call your bank. Go to your bank call, I don't care, but get in touch with your bank and let them know you're going abroad because if you don't do this and they notice that somewhere in China or India or somewhere your bank account is suddenly being accessed there, they're going to think someone's stealing your card or your information, your identity, and they're going to freeze it and then you won't have any money and then that would really suck. So make sure you let your bank know what's happening. Another important basic thing to do before you go abroad is to get the correct shots, okay? It is so important. You can probably go on to like the country's NBC websites or speak to a doctor. Most of the time I have like a list of things that are required if you go to such and such country. And finally, in the basics, bring pictures because you're going to become homesick regardless what you may think, okay? I didn't think I was going to get homesick. But you have those nights when you're just like, oh, grandma, mama, papa, whatever. And it's nice to have pictures. And besides, when you're in a different country, people love to see where you're from and your family and all that stuff. So it's also a really great thing to bring that you can share with people and have, you know, conversations. So it's really nice. So those are also important. So the next thing is from my must-have list. Now, this is my personal must-have list. Like, I will completely die if I did not have these things. And the number one on my list, airbags. Now, airbags are like these little Ziploc things. Okay, I'm not advertising, but, you know, these are awesome. Pretty much, they look like a giant Ziploc bag. There you go. You can put a gazillion things inside of this, okay? Clothes, preferably, and I would just say clothes, but if you have coats, or like scarves, or whatever, put it in. It has this nifty little vacuum thing on the back. You stick your vacuum cleaner in there, suck up all the air, and oh my gosh, you can fit a gazillion things in one suitcase. It's fantastic. So I would highly suggest this. You can buy it from Walmart or something like that. So this is excellent. Um, another thing I would suggest to bring is like a little, little not not like a fanny pack, but like kind of like a thin version of it that you can put under your clothes. That way you can put your passport in there or a little bit of money in there or anything like that because depending on what country you're going to, someone's going to try to rob you. I mean, that's just the reality of it. Someone may try to rob you and you don't want to have everything in your pocket or in your purse because if your purse is snatched, and you're like, oh dang it, my purse is snatched. But this is something that you can put under your clothes because I can guarantee you will notice if someone is up your shirt. So I highly suggest that. Now, the next thing I'm going to say is a little inappropriate, so here's a quick warning. Okay, 
So, pretty much, I'm sure you guys know what these are. Now, these are for the people that like a little bit of passion in their lives. So, we have the condom and we have the birth control for the ladies. Now, or, well, I mean, the condom is well for the ladies, too. No. But, I don't know what you plan on doing when you're abroad, but I will personally suggest you bring the materials from your own country because you know it. You are familiar with it, and it's safe. Now, you can bring however much you would like, but at least bring enough to give you time to learn about the other country and to, you know, feel like comfortable using their things without worrying about the consequences. But, if you do this, keep in mind that AIDS and STDs are not curable. So, I will have a complete checklist up on my Facebook page, so you guys can feel free to print that out. Um, if you're going to bride, add whatever you made to it. Um, I'm sure I left things out. This was just a very basic what to do a break when you go to bride. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly address um, a little bit of the random questions that I received. Um, that's a little bit off this topic. But uh, people want to know what's going on with the headset. Well, this is my only sound thing that I have. So this is my grandfather, so I'm wearing it until I can afford my own that's nicer and cuter and not so big. So that's what's going on with the headphone. Um, uh, one of the other questions, how often will I update my videos? Well, I want to do it at least once a month. I would love to do more if possible. It's, it's difficult um, because you guys aren't asking me any questions, but I'm sure as more questions that I receive, the more videos that I will create, um, it's going to become a little bit more difficult once I go abroad to China because unfortunately China does not have YouTube tier, so I'm going to have to rely on my friends in the States to put the videos up. So, thank you again for watching the second video of the Rec Abroad, and I look forward to you guys' questions and answers or comments or concerns or anything. In the first video. So, thanks again. I already have plans for the third one, so.